I'm here at Port Patrick on the west coast of Scotland at the very start of the Southern Upland Way. Ahead of me is 214 miles of path along cliff tops, through farmland and forest, over moorland and mountain to Coburn's Path on the east coast. Now today I'm just going to walk the very first section along the coast. Normally along here you get fantastic views all the way over to Ireland. It's a little bit hazy today but still fantastic weather. So let's go and see what I can find. So I'm just at the top of the first set of steps just outside Port Patrick and at the top I found this random ruined building. Although it looks not very interesting it's actually got a fascinating history. Um, for over 70 years this was Port Patrick radio station was how ships would communicate with shore so it received distress signals from ships in trouble and through the prompt actions of this radio station and the Port Patrick lifeboat many lives were saved. Now I believe it's all controlled remotely from Glasgow and the building is just left as a ruin. So I've just got into the first little cove after Port Patrick, this is Port Mora, and as we come down into the cove we pass these two little caves, and there's quite a lot of interesting folklore here. Apparently the cave with the waterfall was supposed to be able to cure children of whooping cough. People would come on the first Sunday in May and bathe the children in the water from the waterfall and leave an offering on an altar inside the cave, and that was believed to cure them. The other cave is apparently where Uchtred, Lord of Galloway, was killed. He was blinded and maimed by his brother and left to die in that cave, according to legend. So I'm now at the next little cove around. This is Port Cale. And again, this has got some fascinating history to it. These days we take phones for granted. We've always got our mobile phones with us, but 170 years ago, it was a very different matter. And this place is really important because this is where the very first telegraph cable was laid under the sea between Scotland and Northern Ireland. And these little huts just behind me here are where all of the mechanisms were stored for running the telegraph cables. Now it's abandoned, it's a really remote, tranquil beach and a really special place. This bit of coastline is fantastic for wildlife watching. Most of these cliffs have got seabirds nesting in them and you can very often see seal in the water below here. So it's well worth bringing some binoculars with you and keeping an eye on the water as you're walking along. Even if you don't see anything, there are some fantastic views along here. So I'm here at Kilantring and Lighthouse. This was for over a hundred years a vital defence for the ships going between Stranraer and Belfast. Now it's been decommissioned, it's just a private house, but it's still a fantastic landmark to end this first coastal section of the Southern Upland Way. 
So from here, the route turns inland and goes along quiet country roads up to Broadmoor and then down from there to Castle Kennedy. But that is an adventure for another day.